So there you have it. The first three pieces of our founding beliefs. Quite a mouthful. Yeah, it took us about 15 minutes, I think. This is why we decided to break it up into three posts. In conjunction with these three beliefs, I'd like to share with you the first team that we briefly discussed in our Christmas article. Then we uh, say the pyramid of uh, games we play, team one, team two, and research and planning team. Uh, these are the R&D teams. I don't know why they have three. I really, really don't. Um, it really should just be... Uh... So I got the phone plugged into the computer to keep it charged. Uh, planning down here, development uh, up here, or you could honestly merge those two. I don't think you really need separate. And then play testing. This one really needs to be connected to the first one to tell them, hey, 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 you know that crap you just made? Don't. It needs editing. You're being stupid. You're making problems. Knock it off. And then founding beliefs. Uh, this is the main uh, part of the article I was really interested in. Our research and planning team welcome your assistance. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that. There are many games that stand alone, but Forceville is a different type of game. It is a game that is going to stand with its community. Uh, mate, other games have done community-made cards. Uh, every game, to some degree has community input, with maybe the exception of Vanguard, because, you know, um, I'm not going to take in Western ideas. But uh, most games are put in a position where the bellowing of the fandom, when they stuff up royally, makes them stand up and notice. And this is exactly what you're doing. Uh, we all know your game's going down the crapper because you you just can't make a decent game. But let's get on, because this is where it gets juicy. Your opinions are what make Force of Will what it is. It's not always the loudest voice in the room that we hear, as there are many other quiet whispers that are equally important. No, no, what this really is, is we're not going to listen to the people we don't want to listen to. Sorry. Anyone that shakes our confidence in ourselves and makes us upset and uh, hurts our fifis isn't going to be listened to. Because people who scream the loudest, uh, I'm going to be honest, usually have some point. They're not completely right most of the time, but they have something of a point. And, um, gonna be honest, your game's a shit show. Has been since day one. It is honestly since Valhalla. Uh, you, you don't know how to design. I frankly don't think there is a design document in place because the numbers have uh, creeped up over time. And um, there's so many things like you can't understand how much a plus one should cost and how much uh, power any type of plus in a game matters. And how you keep seemingly creating metas dominated by a very small pool of cards. You can't seem to make a meta with a large pool, well even a nice pool of viable decks. Uh, a nice pool, as I've said before in my other videos, is between 4 and 8. We'll go for the 5-6 mark. Uh, I've said it by myself, and hey, I discovered Richard Garfield said the exact same thing. So I'm probably not wrong when the creator of the medium said it himself. Not only that, you keep screwing over Vorthos players, players invested in the law. You, you keep making really bad stories where people are thrown to the side they mean, at the minute they're no longer useful. Really horrible conclusions where people go out like punks. And in the actual sets themselves, you play favourites on what's supported. Or you just go, you know what, we're just going to change gears. I know we haven't finished it in the first place, but let's change gears. For no apparent reason. Are you going to stop any of this crap? You promised to win um, uh, Lapis. And you promised to in Raya. Well, Jordan did. You said, oh, things will get supported properly. Haven't seen that yet. Two sets in. Haven't seen it yet. Three sets when you include the decks. I, I don't think things are properly supported yet. Especially in black. It's, uh, sorry, darkness. It's much, much better than it used to be. 
Uh, it was really bad in Owl's Cluster, especially favoritism. But it's seemingly uh, still around, despite you saying that uh, it wouldn't be. At least Jordan's saying it. It's definitely not easy, but it's very important to find ways that we incorporate the many great ideas from our communities across the globe, as well as the excellent team members we have working on our game. Okay, first of all, your team members are not excellent. Stop patting them on the back. They're doing a horrendous job. Second of all, you've already said you're going to cherry-pick who you listen to. A part of me knows that's how uh, you play test, but it's also not when your game's going down the crapper. Uh, you have to start understanding what you did wrong and what was going right when the game was going well. You have to have a sense of um, self-blame, for lack of a better term. You have to understand you're the only one in control of the game's meta and the game's cards. You're the problem. It's not the players not discovering things. It's not the players playing the same things because they're, only, they're the only things that are viable. It's you, the designers. It's you, the directors. It's you, the planners. You're the problem. It is also important that we have data to support and justify our changes from communities and shops. We need to understand the meta, the unique matchups, the types of players playing our game, and remember not to be distracted by individuals who are incredibly vocal, but a very small portion of the actual user base. See, uh, thing is there, mate, very few people are not going to suck up to you. Uh, as we've seen with other games, and we even say with this game, uh, people are more than happy to suck up really hard if it means they're going to get free product or notoriety, which will lead to money. Uh, money speaks all languages, and sucking up is a great way to get money. People who give you the honest-to-God, truthful, this shit ain't right, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, you need to fix shit, are rare. Because they got nothing to get out of it. And honestly, I don't think you understand the matter. Uh, you ban things really late after they've made their money, mind you. Something Jasco doesn't do. Uh, Jasco's interesting here, where they ban things before they come out. Because they've gone, holy shit, we made a mistake. Uh, you don't seem to understand that. You don't seem to... Maybe you don't play test and see this. Even wizards, I have to give them credit here. Uh, the Felidar Guardian, sorry, Felidar Guardian thing. Uh, people point out the horrible combo in uh, pre-release uh, slash um, sh the preview part of the release. And then when it came out, uh, it got shown to be the problem everyone said was, and they were like, "Yeah, okay, emergency banning." Uh, you've never emergency banned anything. Why? Because all your problems seem to come down to money cards, i.e. they're deliberate. You, you understand the matter all right, what makes money? It, it's, you don't care about matchups, you don't care about the community, you care about keeping people on and uh, keeping that attention rate and making money. Uh, see, if the game was good, it'd get word of mouth and naturally bring th people into it, uh, both quality of game and ease of play, which first of all has, it's a very easy game to play, it's good in that respect, uh, naturally build up um, player bases, because people go, okay, this is actually good, and people seem to like this, there's a fan base for it, I'll go play it. No. You, you let problems fester. You let problems become so apparent that everyone sees it's a problem goes, no, no, don't want to touch that crap. This is even more important with the art, where people are like, yeah, you see the tip of top people playing that game? They're creepy. I don't want to associate with them. Just saying. And that'll come more importantly in the second video. Because we're doing, we're, it's going on. We'll do this as two videos. Uh, where were we? We should collect more widespread data from more sources. This keeps biases to a minimum, and with our team, the community's input we receive 
and the data we collect, we can draw correlations to the most successful paths to make moving fo take moving forward. To spread widely, this new system is the most important role for this team. Yeah, it's called listening. You should have been doing that a long time ago. You probably should have been listening to your playtesters had you had them. Because I don't believe you do. Or if you do, there are a bunch of yes men who won't tell you like it is. Or they're horribly incompetent at the game and can't see a problem a mile away. You've got problems internally. You need to fire people. You need new blood. And to be quite frank, again, you need to raise the game to the ground and restart with this mentality in mind. If you do genuinely believe it, because I still don't believe you. I've had enough crap from this company uh, over the year I played it, and each time I try to get back into it. I just don't want to put up with it anymore. To realize our founding beliefs, this team is going to design some evaluation points and rewards for various aspects, not only for winning games, but also unique and good achievements. We strongly believe though, these ideas to be some of the most important aspects of improving the game and providing an excellent, forcible user experience. I agree with some of you, what you've said. I just don't believe you that you'll put it in because I've heard this cock and bull story before. Uh, Jordan gave it out all the time. And again, your track record is really bad. Actions speak louder than words. Believe it when I see it. The game needs to have, frankly, better, more balanced design. Stop making broken rulers. Take into account more cards when designing and playtesting. Because Jordan said that um, Lapis Cluster wouldn't take into account uh, Alice Cluster because none of the cards really work with it. it. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, that was proven to be BS on Lapis 1. And as we all know, we got up to the Fox. Uh, again, much like Reflect Refrain and Bahamut before it became a problem. And then Prisha, it's just one more problem after another with this game. This needs to stop. It needs a varied meta. It needs a balanced meta. It needs some honestly better card design. Anyway, this has been some Gamer Dude. I'll see you guys next time.